Pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Drew Morgan, and I already did a preview of the Flyers and Capitals game. That'll be linked at the end here if you want to check that out. This is going to be a reaction to Drew's press conference, which I think in the end ended up being more of what Charlie O'Connor said it was, which was just them requesting him for a couple days, having a normal press conference that did address some trade deadline questions, but wasn't any, like, ha big breaking news press conference that he revealed something that we didn't already know, like I think some were hoping or making it out to potentially be. It was just a normal press conference. Drew talked about the deadline, talked about how much he loves playing in Philadelphia. He talked about how family, kids, and, and all that comes into play when it comes to the deadline as well. He seemed emotional at the end when he <coughs> gave the thanks, guys, um, about how much he loves the city and about how last year he just said he would like to play for one city his entire career. But uh, obviously, yes, he has a no-trade clause, but he also understands the game's a business. And if he can get moved and help the team he loves, he might do that for the greater good of the rebuild or retool, whatever you want to phrase it as, of the Flyers. And that's likely what's going to happen in the end. We obviously don't know that for sure yet. He said he is going to like talk to, not likely, is going to talk to Chuck about those things, but hasn't yet at the press conference. So we'll see what happens to Giroux, just like for another Flyers Nitty Gritty member of our team, uh, Flyers Family in 93. What Voracek is to Chris is what Giroux is to me. I'm obsessed with Claude He's been my favorite player since he stepped foot on the ice for the Flyers. Gags, Simone Gagne was my first favorite player I resonated with as I was watching as a little kid with the Flyers up until he retired and then came back in the end. But Drew's really the guy when I've been lightning focused on everything when it comes to the Flyers, uh, like in my teen years and all that, that I've loved. Um, and he's been amazing here his entire career. He's one of the best Flyers of all time. It's going to be sad to see him go, but the um, he, you could tell he was a little bit emotional in that press conference, so I think he understands this is probably, this contract's expiring. This is probably the year that it's going to happen in, if it does happen. Um, and I would say now, it's like 80-20 towards happening that Drew's going to get traded. It's going to be sad. He goes, but if you can get a Hellison, if you can get a Baron, if you can get, that's name of people from Colorado that are defensemen. If you can get guys of that caliber, that's very good for the Flyers. You just have to obviously hit on trading Claude Giroux because the whole point of trading Claude Giroux is to expedite your retool, rebuild, or however you want to rephrase it. You can't screw up on that one. And then we'll also probably get some assets for Rister Lining. I think JVR is more of a trade him since his contract expires after next year in the offseason type guy, but if you can get something for him, you'll take it at the deadline, obviously. So we'll have to see uh, what happens going forward. Obviously, Justin Braun could be traded as well. So we'll have to see what happens going forward, but I think Claude Drew definitely 80-20 in terms of getting traded. It was no Ruhaha big breaking news press conference. It was just Drew. I love the fact that he came forth front and and, and talked to the media about it and um was able to <clears throat> have a press conference like that and be very upfront about everything because he didn't get to talk to Chuck about it yet, but he got to talk about how much he loves the city, got to talk about how important City of Philadelphia is to him, and I really appreciate him for that because it does seem like he is going to end up getting traded. And also, as we recap in the last 30 to 45 seconds, Maxime Shushko also got the call up a very good PK or defensive whiz for the Lehigh Valley fans that also has 11 points, plays great on both ends of the puck, can bring you a little bit of bottom six offensive potential, but also is a very good speedster Blair Betts type player of, with more offense that plays immensely great, has always great stick position on defense, and is a wizard in, in terms of knowing where to jump pucks and when to kind of stay back and make the good defensive play on on defense. I, right now, he wasn't projected in the lineup tonight. Hopefully, he does get a couple games. He, of course, played uh, in the 2020 season a little bit before guys came up, I believe it was, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I think that was the 2020 season. So, uh, we'll have to see um, if he does get games, but it's definitely nice to see him get rewarded with a call. But this has been a reaction to the Claude Giroux press conference and also a little bit on Maxime Susko as he gets rewarded with a call. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and go Flyers.